hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you for being new here if this is the first time i'm posting after you subscribed i appreciate you so much those who have been my 20 something subscribers earlier i really appreciate you so much now before i start my video um i'm gonna ask you kindly to share 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 until we kind of go viral or something yes i would love for that to happen because then for me the reason i started this channel is because of the motivation behind me being an lgbtq person look i got a badge on that says stop homophobia it can be seen right yeah so yeah the idea is to end homophobia but i got to learn through my research and understanding i got to learn that a lot of homophobia that flies around is because people don't understand issues about the lgbtq community and so then why not have a channel where we can be able to share information about the lgbtq community and see if we can be able to demystify some myths and misconceptions that people have against the LGBTI community and maybe, just maybe, because then at the end of the day it's a choice for someone to be or not to be homophobic then to see if we can be able to end instances of homo homophobia because then homophobia affects people in the community really badly because then you can be beaten up, you can be disowned just for coming out you can be treated badly just because someone knows you're queer you can lose all your friends, you can lose your family anything can just possibly happen and so the reason for this channel is to to inform people now i'm gonna jump right in into the video uh the video is about a q and a which i asked uh the day before yesterday uh on my youtube to, to ask people to be able to send on i asked on facebook i asked on instagram and i asked on my whatsapp to have people send me any questions that they'd have and i'll be more than happy to answer the questions while i'm answering the questions at some point i'll give shout outs to people depending on the question some questions i won't feel the need to give the names because then giving the names would make these people targeted and that is not the idea we do not want to make anyone targeted here so i'm gonna go right into the video make sure to like comment share because content needs to be shared if it's beneficial to you it could as well be beneficial to another person and more than that make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell the bell because if you turn on the bell i promise you every time i post unless youtube decides to delay it you're gonna get an immediate notification which makes you be able to listen hear learn and more than that interact with people on the comment section on the same also if you have ideas of videos that i'm supposed to do and i said there are no pranks here we're only going to speak about activism feminism and issues to do with the lgbtiq community because I made that particular because in my activism and feminism is highly there but I decided, I decided to make it a separate subject because on its own it's a standalone subject which needs a lot of pumping of information from what I know to what like I said other guests on my channel will be speaking on and the most fundamental thing is to ensure that while these people come on they can be able to share more information because I wouldn't say I'm an expert and I'm I'm a staunch believer that everyone experiences their sexuality different and so having many people come would be able to make us all understand what it means to be uh, a person in the LGBTI community but being a bisexual for instance or being a transgender or being an intersex person or being a gender non-conforming person or being a gender fluid person you know uh, all these things so welcome and let's go right into the video so the first question comes from a friend of mine. She's a long time friend. Her name is Christabel uh, Wandera. Shout out to you, Christabel. I hope you'll be able to get to watch this video. And it was asked by Instagram. And she didn't want me to film this because we already talked. But still, I'm going to answer why we are feeling. She asked why we are not meeting. So the last time we met, we agreed we are going to meet. And she's the one who told me she's going to let me know when she's not at work or she and she's not busy so that we can meet and she didn't quite get back and she thinks it's because i don't want to meet her well of course i want to meet you christabel you're my friend and i love you very much and i hope you're gonna get to meet soon you're gonna notify me when you're available and i'll be more than happy we meet and talk and chat and just you know not catching on really because i'm not a catching on kind of person but uh uh just basically hang out because i miss you as well and then the second question is from my 
best friend her name is makena makena i trust makena to ask me this question and i promise i'll answer it the question she asked me was what is my freak number now when it comes to your freak number there is some tests that you that some 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 uh, quizzes that you need to do online to know your freak number and basically it's measuring just how spontaneous can you be as a person and then how far can you go and then how uh you know uh practical and how daring are you as a person when it comes to your sexual life and so for me i always say my freak number is either a, a zero or a ten now i'm not this kind of person who is daring enough to just be oh well i'm in a group of people they're just hanging out and then from zero to a hundred just do something really sexual with someone maybe i don't know and everything and that's why it makes my freak number zero that perspective but with someone i'm in a relationship with and most importantly i'm in love with i'm a 10 because then uh what better way because i always consider all human beings holes but uh there are two different ways of doing it there is a way in which you hope by sleeping with everyone then there is a way in which you hope perfectly with one person where you do all this crazy stuff with one person and so that makes my freak number 10 because then with a person that i'm with in a relationship with it never gets old in fact every day is a new day to make it more interesting so yeah my freak number is a zero and a ten um my friend faith from mombasa hey faith um i miss you i hope i'll get to come to mombasa very soon my friend mckenna is also from mombasa but she stays in nairobi uh and faith is in mombasa and in mombasa and um her question was interesting because she asked me am i a he or a she and i feel like this is a very important subject that we need to talk about because then when it comes to the lgbtiq community then it's fundamental to know that we have things that we call pronoun and self-identity and it's fundamental that you're able to know and her question is very valid then because we have people who are, are female but they've not transitioned but their pronoun is he which means they'd rather transition but they can't because one the politics around uh, the homosexual persons in Kenya because then homosexuality is under the penal code which means in more than five ways it is illegal for a Kenyan to be a homosexual and that means you can only go as far as identifying as a he to people who are open-minded and stuff but most of the time when you go home you just remain a she and stuff and that is totally understandable then there is uh people who have transitioned and they were born female and now they're men or they're born men and now they're females and they would identify according to your to the to the uh you know pronoun of choice because then just because you transitioned doesn't mean you become the opposite it could also mean you become gender non-conforming or something like that so it is fundamental that you're able to know everyone pronouns now when it comes to me being a he or a she i'm certainly a she i was born a she i'm a cis woman i have not abandoned my you know gender identity and sexual identity as a female uh, but the most important thing is also to recognize that I do not like labels sorry about the bang I do not like labels and that means as an individual I don't like being fit in a box now I feel like when it comes to identifying as a she or her you are fit in a box of societal expectations and and gender roles of what the society has come together to, to create some sort of a standard of how females are supposed to behave, males are supposed to behave. And so for that reason, that's why I use the pronoun they, because then I do not like to be put in a box of you're a female, sit properly, do A, B, C, D, you know, females are supposed to turn it down a notch, females are not supposed to, females are not supposed to have an opinion, females are not supposed to, you know, uh, be way over the top, females are supposed to hush hush when there's males talking and stuff. So for me, that is the reason why I would prefer in a platform where people are really busy making females feel like second-class citizens and stuff Then I'd like to be called they because then my opinion is gonna be heard I don't want to be fit in a box I'm a human being before everything else and I would like to be treated as such But then my pronouns are she, her, they and it will remain as so now In the light of the same question, I'd like to address one thing most of the time I dress in a in a masculine way but i don't like to have my clothes define me because they're just clothes you call it masculine because you think it looks kind of masculine but this top i'm wearing is a female top 
it's a cloth that I bought on the female section of clothes. This shirt that I'm wearing is a shirt that I bought on the female section of clothes. It's a female shirt. Um, um, it's just the way I pair my clothes that make it look uh, masculine. Does it make me uh, become a he or something? No, it doesn't. I wouldn't like to be defined by my clothes because then for those people who know me and are close to me well enough, they know I switch up. I switch it up anytime. I can, I can go from wearing a dress and heels and just work it. Then from that point, I can switch right uh, into wearing a suit and just work it. And that is one thing I appreciate about life because then I feel like clothes is a standard that human beings came up with and for some reason it fit and it was you know not fit per se but it was imposed and then it became a narrative where men are supposed to wear this women are supposed to wear, wear this where clothes are said to be men clothes women clothes men shoes women shoes and everything but remove men from anything and it just becomes shoes clothes and wherever and the only one can wear anything as long as most importantly comfortable most importantly they're happy about it and most importantly the idea behind dressing up is to cover up right it doesn't matter what clothes i've worn what matters is that i've covered up because then you don't want to be caught in a situation of public indecency so then yep that's just about it and to emphasize faith i am a her a she and are they gender non-conforming because that is very important i do not like to conform into the societal expectation of what a cis woman should be on the fourth question it's mercy achibo hi mercy this came uh, through whatsapp faith's question came through whatsapp as well uh, mckenna's question came through instagram christabel questions came through instagram mercy achibo asked and i'll answer she asked can i date a bisexual person now, when it comes to me dating, I date a human being. That entails a lot. It entails me getting to know you and what you stand for, your values and everything. And if one, they match mine, or in the very least, mine feed into yours and yours feed into mine, because that is very important. I wouldn't want to be the person whose goals go right the opposite direction of what mine are. And so because of that, then I date human beings. Now you can be bisexual, you can be, you see the thing about the misconception about bisexual people is that uh, you date a bisexual person, they might cheat you, cheat on you with a man for me who dates women they might cheat on you with a man and stuff now if they cheat they are cheats it's not because they're bisexual they're just cheats can i date one yes i can't date one as long as we believe in the same things like for me exclusivity in a relationship is very important when i'm dating you i'm dating you if you're deciding to be with a man uh, it has to be something we decide together, maybe you're trying to get a child or something like that. But other than that, if you are with a man while you're dating me, that is cheating and nothing excuses that. And so I can date anybody really. I, I think the only restriction that I have on who to date is that I cannot date as a woman. I cannot date a transgender woman. That's, this is a person who is was born a man but transitioned to a woman. I wouldn't, especially in my perspective as a kenyan i it would be crazy because most of the time when you meet trans people in kenya then they would be uh identifying as a female but they've not transitioned yet and for me that would be kind of complicated or basically just that a, a transitioned person i i i would that an intersex person who is identifying as a woman because then an intersex person could be two ways it could be chromosomal or it could be um it could be physical with sexual uh, organs and stuff and if their functional sexual organ is that of a female and that's how they identify then i would date that person but if their identification if their identity is that of a male then no i wouldn't because like i said i'm a lesbian i'm a woman who likes women and so for me the number one thing is being with a woman and probably to speak something about that in a relationship between uh, a lesbian couple or a gay couple or a, a, any couple that is a person who dates a person of the same gender and sex like in case of two lesbians there's no man in that relationship both of them are women in case of two gay men there's no woman in that relationship all of them are men and that is a misconception that flies around a lot and people are assuming that just because 
I'm a woman and I'm dating a fellow woman then the other woman is a man or I am the man because I dress in a masculine way so at least in that question alone we've been able to discuss a, a number of misconceptions about dressing about just because I look a certain type of way then I must be a he no I am not a he nothing takes away from me being a woman just because of the clothing that I've put on so that is very important and in dating someone I'm not being the man or they're not being the man in the relationship we are all women and that's the whole idea really then why would I be a lesbian if I'm I'm being I'm, I'm trying to be a man or my partner is trying to be a man I can as well remain heterosexual and date a man yeah right so yeah and then another question is um uh, I think I'll, I'll censor the name of this person, I won't mention it, but they'll know it by themselves because I'll make sure to share the link so that they can be able to know. They asked, am I dating and if I'm not dating, can I date them? Now I am not dating. I'm not dating because I came out of a relationship last year in July and it was quite, a, I don't know what I'd call, a kind of controversial way in which the relationship ended. I It kind of left me struck and maybe the person i was dating would watch this yeah i'm still struck by the fact that i still don't understand how it went from us being in a relationship where we were being in a relationship not perfect there's no relationship in the world that was perfect we had our own issues and stuff but i never kind of saw it coming and it ended and so for me i'm the kind of person who believes in perfect healing in perfect finding myself in perfect understanding perfectly understanding the issues that we went through and how i can do to become better and so i am not dating but also i'm not about to get into a relationship can you date me anyone can date me as long as we have things in common like i said um as long as we believe in the same things and stuff however it can't be now because now i'm just dating myself i'm just getting to know myself better to understand myself to know what it is that are things that i believe in and if i'm gonna demand things from a potential partner then it has to be things that i'm sure of by myself so now i'm off the dating market but yes certainly when i'm ready and stuff and trying to get to know you and stuff if you're the kind of person i'd want to date then yes certainly i would date anyone who would want to date me as long as i'm ready for a relationship um uh the next question is by serena hamilton this came through facebook and she asked am i single yes serena i'm very single by choice i'm not trying to get into a relationship not now at least um i i i have awesome people around me i wouldn't say that i don't have awesome people i don't have people that i like and stuff i do have in particular someone that i really do like but i am not dating as of now so i'm just using this time to just get to know this person really well and better and who knows what the future holds we can wait and see i mean there's this channel now if i end up getting into a relationship y'all my or some people will be the first ones to know. Um, six, another question, no, question seven asks, it's by Kathy Lux, and she was just congratulating me for starting this YouTube channel. Kathy Lux, thank you so much, she's from Facebook. Thank you so much for being able to congratulate me. I mean, when you choose to go down some paths, it's never really about the people, it's you and your need to want to share this information, to want to know yeah, if you can get people who really wanted this information and it's, it's, it's fulfilling, it's encouraging. This is basically the reason that I started doing this, to just have people be out there, learn and appreciate and yeah, appreciate me for doing this for them. Um, yeah, Kenya as a country, given that we have a, an ongoing case, the repeal 162 that is going on it means we are still illegal as persons and that means i'm putting my life out there and it would come it would come it, it could come with any risk whatsoever so then i appreciate when people acknowledge and recognize that they are happy that i'm doing this so thank you so much kathy looks for this and the last but not least question because there's gonna be a lot more here and as coming up it's by yasmin from from facebook as well and a bit of interaction i i got to interact with yasmin and she works in kakuma and it's very interesting she is what she say is kind of a humanitarian and that for me is really interesting and she asked what is my channel about which means she's not watched anything from my channel but i'm gonna be sure to tag her in this one so that she can be able to watch my two initial videos but most importantly know what my channel is about and like i said and i think i said at the beginning of this video that my channel is about feminism activism and the lgbtiq 
GNC community in general. Uh, the reason it's about the LGBTQ GNC in general is because myself, I'm a lesbian, yeah, which means I belong to the community, but there's no bias whatsoever in me just trying to address issues about lesbians. I want to address issues about the whole community because in one way or the other, just like the way human beings and how they survive is a whole ecosystem. For us, the LGBTQ community, it's another ecosystem all the same. We, we, we depend on each other. A success by one group is a success by all groups. And so this channel is to highlight all those things. Our sorrows, our devastations, our successes and wins, no matter how little. And just to be able to make this uh, channel a platform where people can be, learn, can be able to learn about issues to do with the LGBTQ community. Now, it's been awesome. This video is like how many minutes? Almost 21, 22 minutes. It has been awesome answering these questions. There's going to be a lot of phases when it comes to Q and S because as we grow, as we get to become more open, we are going to have an opportunity to learn more and more and more about the community in Kenya. But most importantly, 22nd of February 2019 is the day where we are expecting a ruling on the repeal 162, a case that has been going on by Eric Guitari from who was a former boss at Nigel Hack, but currently he is not, but he's still the founder of Nigel Hack, him amongst other people that he founded the organization with. And it's gonna be very interesting uh, to see how the ruling will be. And I've always said, regardless of how it goes, it's gonna be a landmark ruling because then even if we do not win, it means it opens an even bigger platform for holding a conversation because then there's gonna be appealing and all these kind of things. So it's really interesting and we're looking forward and I can't wait if possible to be able to vlog about that. But if not being able to vlog because given it's at the courts and most of the time when I've been going for the court proceedings, we've been told not to use our phones and stuff. But I hope I'll be able to just bring you guys on board and my oh my if we win it's gonna be a whole lot of celebration because of that because then that day is very fundamental for me as a Kenyan who my constitution has rendered me illegal so looking forward to that looking forward to a lot more ch a lot more uh, videos on conversation about the community on feminism and stuff I feel like the other video that I'm gonna do from here is about feminism and feminism in Kenya and uh, how we can be able to make fem feminism beneficial to us as a population so thank you so much for coming to my channel as i said be able to like comment and share because yes 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 we are gonna do this and we're gonna have fun doing it and then second most of all we are gonna be able to interact some more we're gonna be able to share stuff so be able be make sure you, uh, you subscribe make sure you switch on the bell so that every time i post you can be able to get a motherfucking notification on what i have posted and be good to yourself be kind to one another because the world needs kindness and it's a wrap and thank you so much bye guys